great Monday morning. How are you all doing? Happy Monday to each and every one of you all. I hope and pray that you had a blessed, relaxed weekend to all the fathers out there. Happy belated Father's Day. Hope that you enjoyed your weekend and got to spend time with your beautiful family on yesterday. So, church announcement. I'm going to um, be letting y'all know about our show tonight. Our show tonight is titled Parents Divided. Parents Divided. Can't really remember the question of the day right now, but what I will say, um, one of the points that I know I have is where does manipulation start in children? How do they learn manipulation? Nine times out of 10, my guess is it has to do with parents being divided. So good morning, is everybody come in? Good morning, Andre. Good morning, Tamika. How are y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm gonna talk about something where I even had to ask God, hey, Delisha, uh, God, you really want me to say this? You really want me to talk about this? I get amazed at the things that God wants me to share. So I'm going to talk about this. We're going to talk about build with, chill with, or leech off of. What is it? What is it that we're trying to do? Hey, how you doing, Tasha? What is it that we're trying to do when it comes to a marriage? Okay. Are you trying to build with the individual? Are you trying to chill with the individual? Or are you trying to leech off of them? So let me go ahead and break it down like this. This is something, I'm going to go straight in, ladies. You know, I'm not jumping on you, girl. not jumping on you. I keep this equal opportunity. But this is something I don't understand. Y'all help me, okay? There are so many women that I'm hearing right now who say that they desire for their man, husband, I'm going to say husband, you know, man, to take care of them like back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But then at the same token, good morning, Sheree, when you get into it, uh, a lot of women also say, well, this is not like back in the day where you could do this and tell me what you're doing. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of oxymoron to me. I don't understand that part. But there are a lot of women. And so last week, what I was talking about is pretty much like fairy tales. Okay, we got to keep it real. We are in the 2020 right now. We are not living in no fairy tale. I don't care what they put in front of your face on the media or uh, with the media or whatever the case may be. What I'm seeing is a lot of young youngs good morning cousin kim little young youngs i'm saying you about 20 you know maybe 18 to 25 26 or whatever they trying to be the next what's the young lady named cardi b who she married to is it offset i don't know i don't know i'm so far behind it don't even make no sense but they're trying to oh yeah i want to be like this we ride together and all this kind of stuff like that baby that's not marriage okay that's not marriage as we know marriage requires a lot of work but what i'm seeing in the 2020 is there are a lot of people who your mindset is still in days of past, but yet still you want to operate when it comes to marriage, like in the 2020. Now I'm going to say this. There are some individuals, let me break down the bill with, chill with, and leech off of. There are some individuals that, boom, baby, they, they trying to build, they trying to grow. I don't care whether it's built your family. I don't care if it's working towards goals that you have as an individual, husbands and wives, y'all have goals, you know, build as far as career progression, build as far as obtaining degrees when it comes to, hey, Stacey, when it comes to, you know, getting your higher education, you, you're always trying to do something. Okay, that's the build with category. Then you got people who you like, look here, I done did that. I done got the degree, got the house. You know, we done met goals and whatever. At this point, we just trying to chill and maintain. Usually those are individuals that's between as young as 35 going up to mm, own up. I'm just going to say it like that. They trying to chill. You know what I'm saying? They not trying to have no drama. They trying to have peace, whatever. And then you got the leeches. You got the leeches. I'm seeing a lot of leeches. And I'm not trying to be mean, but this is what I want, uh, I don't understand. How do we expect marriages to work when the main objective going into the marriage or being into the relationship with the individual is to leech off of them? Okay? I don't get it. Now, me being a country girl, grown up, you know, I grew up in the Baptist church, whatever. I know my scriptures. I know what the word of God say. I know even they said a wise woman built her home. So what are we doing? I, I help me y'all, because you know, we got some Bible scholars on here. 
I've never seen anything in the Bible where it say that anybody should be leeching out for anybody. Uh, I've seen uh, a man that don't work, don't eat. I've seen that. Um, I've seen a wise woman build her home. Um, I've seen all these things, but I haven't seen anything about leeching. So how in the world do we think that we can sit up and leech out for somebody else who didn't work hard to get to where they are, marry them? Because I've heard some of my fellow females say this too, and I'm like, bless their heart and all their parts. Is yeah, I just got to get me somebody to marry because, honey, I'm tired of paying all these bills by myself. I got dad. I got this. God is not going to bless no mess. So let me go ahead and put it out there like that. God's not going to bless no mess. Now. I will say this, you have some individuals that they are builders and they marry somebody that's a leech. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes those dynamics work because they they have standards and they say, no, you're not going to set up her and leech up off of me. You got to be doing something, you know. So sometimes that work, but it's all in what do you want? What do you want? I know for me, I love to build and I love to chill. Those are my two. I don't leech off of nobody. I've never leached off of my husband. And, you know, I know people say, well, Shan, you the wife. What you mean leech off? I've never had the mindset that I would come into the marriage just for, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he going to take care of me. He going to pay all my bills and he going to do all that. No, because I've, I've seen that growing up and I've seen how that turned out and it doesn't work. I don't know. Maybe y'all got some people that y'all know that that work. But my question is, how do we expect God to bless marriage when we're going into a marriage with the wrong mindset and the wrong motives that's my question that i'm asking on today how can we because check it out young my single my single girlfriends on here my single friends okay so you've been working and grinding all your life okay you got education you got your own house you're doing good for yourself your bills are paid you're maintaining you're doing all of that um do you mean to tell me that you would just allow a man to come in and just bum off of you? Now, you done busted your behind. Now, I'm not talking about the ones because there are some, they like, look, I just need somebody to chill with. I'm desperate. You know, whatever the case might be. I'm not knocking anybody. You do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Because we are each individuals that are different. But what I'm saying is, would you allow a man, this is the question I'm asked, to come in and pretty much leech off of you? He dropping you off at work every day. He asking you what's for dinner when you get home. He asking you for money like he your child. Would you allow him to do that? I'm asking the question. I'm not coming down on nobody. So, same thing. Now, this is what I don't understand. And I see it all too often. I just seen it last night, matter of fact. We have too many people that are pretending when it comes to marriage. And if you think that this next generation of children, these young youngs is playing, baby, they are not playing any games. They've seen your foolishness in your household. They've seen, you know, what we have done as parents when it comes to relationship. They didn't seen baby mama, baby daddy drama. They didn't seen all that and they want no parts of it, okay? This is this next generation. Y'all already, I ain't even gonna bring up the political stuff. But baby, they are not here to play any games, okay? So I do not blame them because see, of course, question used to be asked us when we got of a certain age in our generation hey so are you with somebody you dating somebody you serious about somebody whatever the case may be i don't even ask these kids this anymore because guess what the examples that they had go before them they're not trying to have nobody leech out for them they're not trying to have nobody that's gonna sit back it is too many people pretending like you happy in your marriage when you're actually not this is what scared me about this morning like god you really want me to talk about this but the thing that really irritates me the most and i can't even imagine how god feels because you're sitting up here and you pretending in this marriage. Ladies, we have a bad problem with forcing men to want to marry us because of whatever. Our, our, our clock is ticking. My biological clock is ticking. Uh, I, I'm going to look like this and people going to talk about me and all this other kind of stuff. You force a man into marriage who tells you straight up that he don't want to marry you. I'm not ready and whatever the case may be. And then we sit up and we get mad when it don't work. Who am I talking to on this morning? I know this is a Monday morning, Shan. This is early, bright and early. But come on. What are we doing up in here? So, no, let us not get to the point. Let it, like old folks used to always tell me, when a man wants you, 
When he wants you to be his wife, baby, he will make it so. You don't have to chase because see, this is the thing that I have learned and I'm still learning as a young lady. Yes, I am a young lady. Is that when we know our worth as women, when we know who we are, when we know who God created for us to be and things like that, baby, we are not half-stepping. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing this unrealistic list either, but we're not half-stepping because we know, you know, that's like when you go into a restaurant restaurant you they asked you what what would you like to eat that's what the waiter asked you tell them all the things that you like i want a nice new york strip steak baby when they bring that steak out if it's not right we say something right why because we paid our money and our money we worked hard for you see what i'm saying i'm just kind of using that as an example but what we do is we jump into these marriages and then we set up here and we get mad and we blame god but did we even see god in the first place did we even say god is this who you desire for me to be with no so you can't get mad when you're in a marriage, when you chose to be in a marriage, when you end up with somebody who leeches off of you, what can you do to change it? Don't get mad at God because God didn't have anything to do with that. So ask yourself now, there are, let me say one more thing. Hey, Jackie, there are some who you feel the need to be needed. This is another thing that I'm seeing in, in marriages and relationships. You feel the need to be needed. Yes, you may have a good life. You need to work hard, whether you be male or female, whatever the case may be, but you feel the need to have to take care of somebody else. Let me share with you, share with you about that when it comes to marriage. See, marriage, you know, the Bible would talk about equally yoked, and a lot of people that broke that scripture down every which way of Sunday. You see what I'm saying? But Basically, when I look at equally yoked when it comes to marriage, yes, not just, you know, on the spiritual and whatever the case may be, I also look at it as, baby, this is for Shane. They might not be for you, but they're for Shane. You got to be able to pull your own way. Because let me tell you something that I do know. And I know you're like, dang, Shane, you talking a lot about, you know, no, I'm just keeping it real. We're going to put it out here. We can't blame God. And half the time, we can't even blame the devil because the devil ain't the one who told us to do it. We decided to do it ourselves. So let me just go ahead and put that out there. So for myself, now we got to be pulling some weight up in here because I'm a builder. I'm a one that like to do things. I want my husband, baby, he gets things done. Anybody who ever worked with him, you see, he gets things done we sit back we pray okay god what you got for us next what you want us to do oh open up a business okay oh go get a degree you want us to go be counselors even though we don't want to go back to school oh okay god we're gonna be obedient because we want we don't want that good old uh whoop you know what i'm saying hey janice and so what ends up happening is you have those individuals who you feel the need to be needed you feel so you end up in a relationship with somebody but guess what it only lasts so long honey you get tired of people consistently pulling on you and when you get a certain age now you know Y'all let me know how old y'all are and if y'all agree with this. But when you get a certain age, honey, you are not trying to set up her. I'm not trying to take care of my husband like he my child. No, because I pray for a man. I pray for a covering. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's going to cover our home. Somebody who's going to pray for our home. That's what I pray for. That's what I believe God for. And God blessed me for at the age of 20 when I was too stupid to realize what I had. The gold mine that I had in my hand. We just had to polish around the rough edges. So ask yourself. Are you an individual that you like to build? Are you one that you say, hey, I done did all the building I'm, I'm going to do. I like to chill. Or are you one that you are a whole leech? Now, I'm going to kick in a bonus. You also got people who get married because you want to control. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Grown folks are grown folks. You see what I'm saying? Marriage is not about control. So if you got it in your mindset that you single, you engaged right now, you about to walk down the aisle today, tomorrow, whatever the case may be, baby, marriage is not about control. When you marry your husband, he don't become your son. Sir, when you marry your wife, she don't become your daughter. So if you really want to effectively line up with the word of God, I suggest that you read the word of God. Don't be listening to this time foolery that people be talking because they don't even how they house in order you see what i'm saying so you read the word of god because when you really get into that new testament especially uh first corinthians chapter 13 the love chapter it says how a husband should love his wife but see a lot of y'all husbands y'all ain't even dusted out the bible you trying to rule with an iron fist no sir i need you to line up with the scriptures sir so that way your house can be in order ladies Ladies, the wise woman build her home. You do not want to be rot and decay to your husband's bones. You better read that. Yes. 
A woman can be rot and decay as cancerous to her husband's bones. So what are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing in this marriage? What are we doing in this relationship? What are we doing in this engagement or whatever the case may be? Now, I don't put no time frame on nobody. You know, some people that have been together for six years. Some people say, look, I just want to shack, Shan. That's what I want to do. I know it may not be of God, but I just want to shack up with the person that I'm with. Guess what? Shan don't have no heaven and no hell to put you in. All I can do is pray for you. You see what I'm saying? Uh, whatever the case may be, you got people who you rushed into a marriage. I see so many young ladies who you don't know what to do. Let me go ahead and put this out here. I said this on the radio show. I'm going to say it. If I said it before, I'm going to say it again today. One of the things when it comes to our daughter that is still in the home before she leaves the king household, and this is where I can respect men. This is where I can respect husbands. This is where I can respect fathers is when you have children, when you have daughters and sons in the household, but it's specifically for your daughter. When you provide for your daughter to a certain level, honey, she already knows an example. Okay, this is how, man, because I'm looking at how he's treating my mama. This is how my daddy, you are the first love, sir. You know what I'm saying? What That she knows daddy has provided for me to this point. I've spoken to some young ladies in their early, you know, 18, 19, 20, and they say, uh... It's how my daddy provided for me. Now, true enough, you might marry somebody who's not at that level yet, but to each their own. You know what I'm saying? But at least daddy then gave a mark. He then gave an example. He didn't put something in front of the young lady. This is, I'm an example of how your God in heaven loves you. Your husband should love you even the more. I'm daddy who didn't provide it. So one of the things that me and my husband has spoke about before our daughter leave our household, guess what? I'm not teach. this is me. I'm not teaching my daughter to squirrel away no money. I'm not teaching her and get into no marriage and you put money aside. I'm not teaching her that, okay? But I will tell you two things. Number one, our youngest daughter, baby, she is going to be fully equipped, whether it be education, you can get you a, a degree, you can get you a, a hands-on trade in combination with it. Because guess what? If you ever have to leave your situation, you can get up and go. God forbid my husband came in today because y'all know I'm not going to front with y'all. We don't do that. The kings don't do that and be trying to save face. But if Mr. King came in today, God forbid, y'all say God forbid with your girl. And he say, I don't want to be in this marriage no more. This and this and this. Let me tell you this. Shane ain't working right now. I'm not. I'm waiting to pass my license exam so I can go ahead and we can do this full-time counseling, you know, and stuff like that. So I'm not working currently right now. I'm waiting for this room to pass so I can take this exam. But God forbid that man was to come in and say, I don't want to be married to you anymore. Yes, it would hurt. It would hurt deep because we've been married over 20 years. We're going on 22 years come December in a few months or whatever. But I've always told my husband, Give me 30, give me 30 days. Give me 30 days. Cause baby, guess what? Shannon, I'm not going to act a whole fool with you. I'm not going to be trying to get you in trouble on your job. Cause I don't believe in that. I'm not going to be trying. No, what I'm going to do, give me 30 days and I'll be out. That's what I'm going to do. That's the kind of stuff that I'm going to teach my daughter because I don't want my daughter to be in a situation where she feels she can't leave because what am I going to do for money? I don't even have any education, whatever the case may be. I learned this from some of my friends and I've watched people with their daughters on top of that. Like I tell, we got two grown kids that's married. We ain't going to get into your marital business. We ain't, I, look, because Shan tried to take her to the kid house, so I still got to make sure my marriage is right tight. But yet it's still, if you call... What did Michael Jackson say? Just call my name and I'll be there, baby. Well, what we need to do. You tell me what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? You just need to take a break for a little bit. What you trying to leave? Like what you trying? Just call my name and I'll be there. Some of y'all singing that song right now. So only thing I wanted to be able to share with this video this morning is if you are currently in a marriage right now, are you in the building stage? Do you feel like you married to somebody that's lazy? Oh, I got one more thing after this. It just hit me. Where are you at? Are you not happy? Get to the root of why you're not happy. Is it really your spouse or is it really yourself? If you are engaged right now, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all have goals set? What is it? Is God the head? Is he the foundation of your marriage? Where is God in it? Do y'all have goals set? Who's the builder? Who's the chiller? And who's the leech? You know what I'm saying? And then for the singles, please do not go into a marriage. Holla at your girl. Listen to me now. 
Don't go into a marriage thinking that, oh, I could just leech off of this person. Oh, this person have money and oh, this person got a nice car and everything like that. Because nine times out of 10, when a person has worked so hard to get to that status and that place in life or whatever, before they call you a husband or they call you a wife, baby, you have to be bringing something to the table. Because let me tell you about these new young youngs, honey. These jokers is going for what they know. They getting that education. They getting that 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 job. They getting whatever that they're going afterwards. You know what I'm saying? They've been praying. They've been seeking God doing a Matthew 6 and 33. One thing that they don't want is somebody who think they're going to come and leech off of them. And a lot of these young youngs, they just tell them straight up. No, 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 I'm not trying to be with you like that now because, uh, mm -mm, you, you don't have no substance. They're looking for people of substance. So parents... We did something right, whether it's something negative that they learned or whatever the case, we did something right. This is my last thing, and I'm going to do my little church announcement, and I'm going to close on out for this week. I can't stand to see when you have husband and wife that God has placed it on one of the individual's heart or both heart or whatever to do something. And then, okay, so I'm going to break it down like this. Let me just say use me and Kenya. So say God put it in my heart to write a book or whatever. And he put that on my heart for me to do whatever the case may be. But then God put it on my heart, my husband's heart to, I'm going to say, become a pastor. But say he don't walk in, in what God called him to do. You see what I'm saying? And so he semi gets jealous because I have no problem blindly following God in whichever way. And I walk in what God tells me to do. I can't stand to see a husband and or a wife. You hold, you do not support your husband or your wife to the fullest because you yourself are being disobedient to God. And you're not willing to walk in what it is that God wants you to do. You see what I'm saying? That's time out for that. Please don't do that in marriage. And that what I find out is it destroys a lot of marriages because what you do is you you put your husband or your wife the one that's following God at fault you make them feel bad for doing what it is that God has placed on their heart to do and they're trying to make a decision I love my husband I love my wife my marriage whatever the case may be but God I want to be obedient to you and see what we don't realize is when we line up and we do what it is that God has called us to do because I don't know about y'all I don't want to be called home to glory and not do the things that God has called me to do you see what I'm saying good morning Carrie hey Stacy I don't want to do that when I leave this earth and and if it is you know I this is how I was raised that it's supposed to be a heaven on the other side this is just how I was taught you know what I'm saying and if that be very much so I want God to be able to say well done my good and faithful servant I don't want to be sitting up here feeling some kind of way and God saying um so what I told you to do was write that book and you didn't write it. So, well, God, the reason why I didn't write it because my husband, see, I can't blame my husband because my husband ain't going to be at the pearly gates with me. So what I encourage you to do is if you husband and wife support each other. Okay. I seen this so much in the military where you had the military spouse, but soon as the wife wanted to go and I'm going to speak, you know, from a wife's perspective or whatever, but soon as the wife wanted to go to college and she said, okay, baby, you know, you in the military, I want to go and get my nursing degree. You think that that's a bad thing because I'm the one taking care of the family and all that. But sir, what you're not thinking about is God forbid if something happens to you, then how am I supposed to sustain the family if something happens to you? Cause I used to work in the med board's office. A lot of y'all don't know nothing about that. And that's what the soldiers come through where they process that, get processed out the military because they've had military injuries. So that woke up my whole soul. God, I know I'm praying over my husband. I'm not keeping my husband covered in prayer. And I hope and pray that he make it back from Iraq and Africa and all these other places that you sent him God but God dropped it in my heart you see this it was many of spouses that came in there crying because their husbands or their wives didn't even make it back so I'm asking you this support your husband or your wife be their backbone how and so ever how and so ever let me put a comma how and so ever my little country version this is what I need us to know too for us go-getters we got to make sure that we have balance we can't put our family and our marriage on the back burner because we are running after the things of God. We got to have balance. And see, that's why I've messed up some places in my marriage. And that's why I could talk about it. Because I was like, what? That, psh, I was doing it, doing it, doing it. And then I'm sitting up here. My kids, I'm coming in. They sleep. And then my husband, all he wanted to do was go out on a date. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't miss that. And baby, I'm sorry because I got caught up in this meeting and this and this and this. So there needs to be a balance. There needs to be support. And there needs to be balance. So, I need you to ask yourself, 
Are you the type that you are a builder? Do you desire another builder? And if two builders are together, y'all got to have a balance with the marriage and you got to have a balance with the family. It does work, but you got to have a balance. Are you one that you to chill? Hey, I didn't retire, you know, for example, I didn't retire from the military. I'm just trying to chill. You know, I'll go be a greeter at Walmart, whatever the case may be. You know, I just want somebody to chill with, a husband and a wife that I can travel with, you know, whatever the case may be, then okay. Or are you a whole leech? Because let me tell you what I know in 2020, baby, the leech thing ain't working. And if you do get a man to put a ring on your finger, put a ring on it or whatever the case may be, honey, it's only going to last for so long. Because you see, people are jumping in the marriage you putting this fake facade on all this kind of stuff let me tell you what the rona is exposing the coronavirus and all this kind of stuff that's going on in the world it is exposing truth right now all these masks that people was wearing for many years it's coming off and so at the end of the day we have to take responsibility for our own actions it's time out for blaming god god why you have me in this situation god i don't know god said but i told you you remember when i said so and so to you and said don't marry him you remember when I said so-and-so to say, and there are some people that say don't marry somebody because they pretty much jealous. You know, me and my husband had a few of those, and we still together 22 years later by the grace of God. You know what I'm saying? So there are some of those, but God will bring it back to your remembrance. I, mm -mm. I told you not to get into this in the first place, but you thought you was grown. This was the country folks say. You thought you was grown and you knew everything. Your hard head make a soft behind. That's what they say. So in that, it's time to quit blaming God, and most of the times it's time to quit blaming the enemy, time at the devil and tore up your marriage. No, baby, you got into that marriage, and you weren't even supposed to be in it in the first place, okay? So, I need y'all to join us tonight on Marriage Mondays with the Kings. It's me and my husband. Speak from the topic, parents divided, okay? These kids are uncovered because the parents are divided, whether you be in the home or whether, you know, you're co-parenting and you have two parents that live outside the home. So that's going to be on KRG and 98.5 FM, The Rock. We're on our heart radio. It'll be on YouTube later on after, you know, the airing goes off, all this other kind of stuff like that. Just type in Marriage Mondays with the Kings. Whatever you find on Google should lead you to our radio show. So y'all have a blessed week. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Be a blessing to somebody today, not a curse. Take in what was said. What is it that you need to change? It's time for us to start examining ourselves, okay? But if you a leech, baby, I'm going to need you to get a whole occupation, honey. I'm going to need you to get a degree. I'm going to need you to come up. Get your game up, honey. Get your, get your game up because ain't nobody about that in the 2020, all right? So y'all have a blessed week. God bless each and every one of you all. And blessings to you.